Adrian, there are no direct flights from the Middle East to Milwaukee, but out here I've talked to some travelers today as quiet as things are, and they've described the travel ban as a roller coaster, watching the back and forth. As for people that have been stuck overseas in the countries affected by the travel ban, they're now trying to get their visas reinstated. If they were physically canceled, they have to go to their embassy or consulate. The State Department says most were canceled electronically, so those have been reinstated. Earlier today, we caught up with Governor Scott Walker in Waukesha and asked him about the travel ban being suspended. We're well familiar with the court stepping in on, on issues they disagree with. Ultimately here in Wisconsin in Act 10, we were in and out of I think 10 federal and state courts, but we ultimately prevailed. I think as long as the administration makes a priority out of safety, if the focal point of this and any current, for, current or any future executive action uh, on this matter is about security and not about other issues, they'll ultimately be upheld in court. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we spoke with a local travel agency about the changes happening with the travel ban and how that's affecting business. At Mitchell International Airport, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News.